Hey everyone, Phoenix Tremaine here, and my cold is almost completely gone. So, <clears throat> kind of sort of got my voice back. And a little pep in my step. Got my notes for the have and have nots. Um, this episode, I finally got a chance to watch it, and it was not great. <laughs> Um, this is kind of what I expected from the Have and Have Nots. Um, I'm expecting the season finale to be awesome. Um, to have a great cliffhanger. And, you know, we're going to be like going, oh shit, like we did the last uh, season finale. Um, mid-season finale, I guess. Um, but they're just treading water, just trying to make it to the finale. We've got three more episodes left. So, you know, they're just slowly just building one tier after another, although we at first we got some momentum. But, you know, the fact that it's only been three days and it's like a whole half of the season, it just boggles the mind for me. But the have and have nots did come on, and um, the, what little we gave us, they gave us, I'll talk about. So, um, I said in my last interview uh, review that... Uh, the writers were genius if they um, actually made uh, the social worker chick a part of the overall plan. And Candace wasn't just beating her ass for nothing. Now, I won't call them geniuses based on some of the shit I saw in this episode. But I'll say that was actually a great twist. It turns out she was a part of the plot, a minor part of the plot. Oscar paid her $25,000 to convince Candace that she needed... To show her her bank account or whatever so that he could swoop in and do what he did. And so Candace, um, after beating her ass and the social worker worrying about losing her job and all this kind of stuff. Um, Candace demanded that she go to her um, credit union and give her her money back. But rather than the 25000 she got from Oscar, she wants $100,000. Because she's hoping that giving more $100,000 will stop him from killing her at least a little bit. However... Based on what we saw in prior episodes, Ward don't give a shit about hundred thousand dollars. He wants his one point five, whatever he's trying to get. So, um, Candace just basically tells her her friend now that they gave her a friend about um, wars after her, and she warns her wars no joke. You know, treading water, not giving us much storyline. We already know this based on what we've seen. So, whatever. Candace was useless in this episode. Um, then we got Catherine running around for chicken with her head cut off. And my problem with Catherine is, when the season started, I saw some promos or, or teasers saying that this season Catherine would be unleashed. She would be the bad bitch that, you know, we never knew she could be. And in the scene, she's always talking about, wait until my furry is unleashed. Wait until I do this. Wait until I do that. And then every episode is like, oh, I can't get my husband out of jail. Or I can't get my friend out of jail. Nobody will take my calls. Yeah, that's a bad bitch. Really. No, it's not a bad bitch. That is like, um, don't tease us that she's going to be, like, the worst in Veronica. And then bitch can't even get someone to answer a phone call. Fuck. And then we got um, Wyatt. Um, same shit. This is what I mean by treading water. We've seen this scene before. How many times have we seen Wyatt and the DA talk about him getting his money? How many times have we seen Wyatt whip out that same bag of cocaine that he supposedly snorted up like the day before? You know, and the shit wasn't even unopened. That's like, um, what, he got another one? You know, the guy didn't want to give him, he got that for, with no money. He still ain't got his money yet. You know, this episode, they're like, well, he's about to get his money. He's about to get his money. And so he um, gets a, a $3 million condo, um, and he only gets $12 million. What the fuck you need a $3 million condo for? You ain't even got a job. And you doing coke and shit, how fast would he burn it through $12 million like it's nothing? And the criers are supposed to be so rich. You know, what they give a shit about $12 million? Candace got almost that much shit, you know, for nothing. So his insurance should have been, they should have said $50 million or $100 million or something. No, they gave him a little bullshit $12 million. You know, I would love personally $12 million, but based on the context of the soap opera, that's a drop in the bucket for what people are supposed to have. Uh, Veronica got more money than that. Um, and then we see Hannah have a confrontation with David. 
that was interesting to watch. I don't like Hannah. I say it every episode. But, you know, he was trying to bully her into telling him about Benny and Veronica, and she wouldn't tell him shit. You know, she's like, you have covered up my son getting hit. I'm not telling you nothing. You and your trifling ass wife. I actually like that confrontation. I didn't necessarily like the dialogue because they do that repetitive shit. Like, you know, we don't watch shows like Scandal and How to Get Away to Murder where we really get some good dialogue and we can actually comprehend it. Yes. You don't have to write your dumb, dumbed down shit for your audience. We actually watch other shit that doesn't sound like, you know, we didn't graduate from high school. So... Stop it! Um, and then we got a phone call um, during a confrontation uh, with Ben. Oh, the phone calls. No, um, David couldn't get Benny to see him, so he had Oscar um, get David's phones fucked up. So David's phone, um, Benny's phones at at the tow tow yard work, but nobody can call in, so they have a dial tone, so they're not doing any tows. And so Benny um, eventually realizes David, and like we saw in the trailer, that, that huge fight they were about to have. I'm like, um, okay, cool, we're reaching the end of this shit. And then, um, little side note, Jim doesn't get out of jail. Um, he doesn't make bail. And um, on top of that, he got 30 days contempt of court. Which means he's like, won't be in the show for like two seasons based on the way this shit works. Of course he'll be out. You know, but they're just dragging shit out. I'm sure Dave, Jim will call on the favor or something. He'll eventually get out or whatever. But, um, Veronica gets out. Veronica gets out. Although she doesn't technically get out. You know, she's she's sent back to her jail cell. Which doesn't kind of make sense. Well, I guess the writing's not great. So, um, we get... David hearing that Veronica's um, getting let out of jail, but we see in the promo for next week that Veronica is is still sitting in her jail cell. She's still like in jail. Like it's not like she's about to walk out the door or nothing. She's still being processed and shit. So you got David running to stop it when we know that he's not going to make it. And he's still in order where she lives. So you know they're trying to build this tension. We know Veronica's not going to get killed. Therefore, there's no tension for me. Veronica's not going to get killed. Even if she gets shot, she's not going to die. Who cares? Um, and then um, I'm just going to end it with talking about the fight that I was looking forward to. Crazy ass Benny, because Benny goes from 0 to 200. And then David, pussy ass David, because I ain't called him pussy yet. Yeah, I'm going to call him pussy right now. Yeah, pussy ass David. He's a grown ass man. These are grown ass men. Benny has gotten to fist fights with uh, fucking, um, the guy, Candace, and, and what's the name killed? Quincy. You know, they got into fights with Quincy. You know, and then this confrontation between David and Benny. David tries to choke Benny like a bitch. You know, like, that was a bitch move. Like, you know, he's like, I'll snap your neck. Arr! The fuck? The fuck you mean? That was some stupid ass shit. I know we saw it in trouble, but I thought that would be a little bit more... Benny didn't punch him, didn't uppercut him, didn't knee him in the balls, nothing. You know, and then they hear, oh, Veronica's getting out of jail. Then David, like, runs out. And, you know, Benny's looking stupid. So I'm like, that was it? You got two big-ass, muscular, grown-ass men having a confrontation, and one slept with the other one's wife, and the other one helped cover up him getting hit by a car. And... You get, I'm going to choke you. The fuck? <laughs> that was the have and have nots this week. So, um, whatever. I hate a scandal last week. How to Get Away with Murder was born last week. I mean, that's my only hope for some good ass TV. So hopefully they'll pick up the pace on Thursday. Other than that, I am out. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'm going to hang in there for the next three episodes of this Have and Have Nots. And hopefully it gets better. And it, we don't have to wait for the season finale for it to get better. You know, we still got two more episodes before the season finale. So fingers crossed. Yeah, they have some good stuff planned for us. Later.